The first look at Israel's new off-sea gas platform. The Karish gas field is being hailed as a revolutionary development for Israel's energy production sector, and plans exist to export its gas to help ease the global energy crisis. But the site has also become a target for cross-border threats from within Israel's northern neighbor, prompting Israel's interim prime minister Yair Lapid to issue a stark warning. Israel's prepared and ready to act against any threat. We are not heading into a confrontation, but anyone who tries to harm our sovereignty or the citizens of Israel will very quickly find out that he has made a serious mistake. Israel is in ongoing mediation with Lebanon over the rights to the offshore field, and Lebanon's Hezbollah terror group has been beating the drums of war. The new equation is Karish, post-Karish and post-post-Karish. A few weeks ago, the Iranian-backed Hezbollah sent four drones towards the Karish platform. All were intercepted by the Israeli Defense Forces. Beirut claims part of the gas field is in an area considered to be its exclusive economic zone. And the United States is trying to mediate a solution that will guarantee access to offshore gas fields for both countries. While reaching a solution to the long-running dispute has already been posing its challenges, one Lebanese official appears to now be trying to fold a strategic tunnel into the Israel-Lebanon dispute file. Our sovereign rights are enshrined in our decision to reinstate every centimeter from the occupied tunnel without harming our decision to also return our land and sea borders. First built in the 1940s during the British mandate, the Rosh Nikra Nakura Tunnel has been shuttered since Israel's War of Independence in 1948. Granting rights to the tunnel would require Israel to give up a strategic high ground in the area, and the issue is unlikely to be broached seriously in negotiations. So for Israel, from drones to tunnels, Hezbollah continuing to be a thorn in their northern side.